Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I um, just got home from vacation and I was so excited because I had this box of um, goodies that I ordered um, before we left and it came like the day we left. So I was really bummed because I wanted to wear some of my new clothes on vacation, but um, it was kind of fun to come home to when it was like midnight. So I made an order from Urban Outfitters, which I know we have one here, but I feel like online they just carry different things and also, um, hello, I have five kids and I'm not about to be going to San Luis to shop for myself with two newborns, two toddlers, and a six-year-old. That just doesn't sound fun. So I um, ordered some things for myself, which was kind of my birthday present to myself, for myself, or for my husband, or for my kids. Anyways, it was just kind of like, I needed some new things, so um, they had a sale, I think it was 30% off your order, and if you spent so much, then you got free shipping, so um, I ended up ordering a few things, and I've already looked at it, I'm not going to lie, I couldn't wait for the video, because it was like midnight when we got home, and I just, I couldn't even wait, um, so I've already tried on some of the things. And anyways, I'm just going to show you. Okay, so the first thing I got is this t-shirt. And it is by Project Social Tea. And it's made in Los Angeles. And it is like a super thin, you can like kind of see through it, hello, um, t-shirt. It's like rough edges. It's like not hemmed. So everything is like just raw I guess is what they call it and it has like these little slits on the side just like a little bit um and it's like a baggy um super open scoop neck and it has a pretend pocket I thought it was a real pocket it's not it's just a little stone area it says Los Angeles and then it's the city of angels and it's like a dark greenish gray color and I love it and it's so comfy and thin and baggy and it looked good with like a really cute pencil skirt or even just like jeans and some tennis shoes okay not tennis shoes but like cute whatever toms or like converse or something anyways so I got that love it um this one okay not I'm gonna lie I've already tried it on and I don't love it I have a long torso I'm short but I have a long torso so shirts either fit me good like this because it's baggy so it um it like can kind of be slouchy but this one it's kind of I don't know maybe I should try it on to show you guys no that'd be weird if I try on clothes on okay so it just looks like a plain t-shirt on the front it's another one it's wide like kind of boxy cut so it kind of slouches off the shoulder um and the front of it looks like the seam is inside out so it looks like it's inside out it's like that on purpose obviously I know some people are like hello your shirt's inside out and I'm like no that's style so it's like that it's kind of here's the one that's green so this is kind of like a worn black color which I really like it's short sleeve also raw edges the bottom is hemmed though kind of looks like a repurposed men's t-shirt it has like a wider neck and the back is what I loved and why I bought it and it has like the washing instructions in huge print on the back cutest ever right I love it mm -hmm. it's so cool but um, it fits me kind of funky it's like a little too wide on me um, I don't know I might just keep it just as like a comfy shirt but we'll see and this is by truly madly deeply and it's also made in Los Angeles super soft um, the next shirt, I guess this sweater that I got, I had it on last night with a striped maxi skirt and it was like too much and I couldn't like see the full picture. My husband was like, um, that looks gigantic because it's super, uh, flowy. It is like really wide and really long in the back and it has like the sleeves like this so it kind of doesn't get tight till like right here. And this is by BDG. And I love it. I'm thinking with like some skinny jeans and like my leopard flats or something. And like hair in this crazy bun like I have today. 
um, I thought this would be really comfy and fun for me to wear when I have all the kids and like not have to worry about like pulling my shirt up or down constantly. So I really like it, but I have to try it on again because like I said, my husband was like, eh. and if my husband doesn't like it, I just don't keep it or I don't buy it because I don't want to like see his weird looks every time I put something on. But this I love. If you like baggy, big like knit sweaters, you should get this because this is like the ultimate, especially stripes. Um, hello. Who doesn't love black and white stripes? It's kind of my favorite thing. You can even ask my friends. Anything black and white stripe, I'll take it, please. Um, okay, another shirt. Okay, when I bought this, I'm lame. Maybe my eyes are bad. Maybe it's my birthday, I'm 28 now, and I can't see. I don't know. But online, I thought this was plain. It's not. It has some print on it. You can probably see it. I really like it, so I'm probably just going to keep it. But what I'm conflicted by is I want to make sure this isn't anything, like, offensive. Am I the only one who checks to make sure things are not offensive before they wear them? Or should I just not care? I don't know. I just am, like, worried that this might mean something. Maybe that's really self-conscious of me. But it's a double V neck. This is also made by Truly Madly Deeply in Los Angeles. And I probably could have got a size down because this was really big on me, but... It'd be so cute with like a cute cami underneath and maybe just like off the shoulder a little bit. Um, super wide, long sides, short sleeve, it's like the bat wing sleeve. The back is plain, which is I thought the whole shirt was plain, so I was really excited about this. So I don't know, I love it, love it, love it. Cute, cute, cute. Baggy, big baggy shirt would be cute with leggings or jeans or even if you had the right um skirt like pencil skirt this would be perfect and i guess this might be the last top that i got and this is the last top i got kind of bummed it's a little more see-through than i was expecting i wanted it to be a shirt i could just throw on and not have to worry about like wearing a, a tank top like this underneath it but this is by silence and noise you can see it and it's kind of see-through it's I can't explain this material I feel like this would be like a really the material this would be like a really ugly 90s boxy maxi skirt like really hideous with like a slit up the thigh but in this shirt it's really cute so another thing really baggy I don't know why I'm in the baggy thing I feel like maybe just because I just had babies, I feel like I need to be like not so form fitting. But um, there's this, and in the back it has like the seam. It's like a T. I don't know if that's even viewable. But it's like a T seam. It's a little bit longer in the back. It has like a loose sleeve. Again, raw edges. I don't know why I buy everything like that. Raw edges on the bottom as well. Um, let me see if I can find the tag because I don't think I'm explaining this right okay it's 96% um, rayon and 4% spandex if that means anything to you then you know what I'm talking about about like yucky 90s maxi skirt but it's cute right I mean it's just plain black there's no such thing as a not cute black shirt I like there is such thing as a not cute black shirt but this is not one of them this is cute. I like it. I have to try this on again. But this is totally something I would be like go to with jeans and call it a day. Anyways, those are my shirts. I feel like they're all kind of the same style. I don't know. I like them. Okay. Um, so the other things I got, it's kind of random also, socks. I got some socks. And I thought these were just going to be regular like tube socks because I just don't. I don't know, I just thought these would be fun to wear around the house or with my boots on a cold day. They're thicker, has like a fun, um, whatever you call this print, it's like everywhere. I'm kind of over it, but it's still cute for socks. Um, but they're super high. Like I could wear these probably under like tall boots. But cute, cute, cute. These are by Hansel from Basil one size fits most let's hope so love them got another pair of socks now some of these might be gifts um i kind of just ordered them not really knowing 
what I was keeping and which one I was giving as a gift. So, if you get this as a gift, my friend, you know who you are. Don't be surprised. Because I like them. But I might keep them all. So I like them all. These are, uh, these just say socks. So who knows what brand that is. Socks. Um, and they are like a little bit higher than the ankle. With a fun little lace. It's like a crocheted lace top. And I just thought these would be so fun with like a pair of ankle booties. And um, I keep saying pencil skirt. I think because I wore a pencil skirt today, I'm like stuck on pencil skirt. But that would be super cute to like go out to dinner or something. These are charcoal gray with the white. Cute. Uh, but they remind me of my friend. So I don't know. I might give them to her. We'll see. Other things, I have not opened these yet. So these are another pair of socks I got, and I'm pretty sure these are for my friend, and she might know they're for her by just seeing the color of them, and these are over the knee, again, brand socks, whatever that is, um, and this is like a, let's see, I don't know how to explain this, it's like a little bit see-through, it's like a waffle knit, there we go, waffle knit. Um, red sock and these are really special because um, well my friend knows why red is a special color to her so I hope she really likes these I love them they're so cute and I'm tempted to keep them myself but I know she will love them more than I will um, other thing I got oh, oh, another pair of socks these ones are also adorable and this is a slouch sock so they're tall, they're really tall. Um, you could probably pull them up and wear them with a tall boot. But I kind of am saving these for probably fall. But I thought these would be really cute with um, like black leggings, these with my, my tall fry boots. And like maybe just an all black outfit, tall boots and these. I don't know. I just got them because they're cute. And they were, I think they were even on sale. So cute. They look like Christmas, like a, like a stocking right now, but I promise they'll be cute. Um, and then the other thing I got, okay, this is funny. Actually, we'll do that last. Okay, so um, recently my friend uh, lost her little boy, and um, there's a group of us that were in these group texts that we talk pretty much every day, uh, most of the day, and... So I really wanted to get us all something special that we could wear together. Um, uh, okay. So I found these and I just thought it was so special. It really reminded me of her and her little boy. And I know she's received like 550 like personalized jewelry things, but um, this was just something little and I, I, I think she'll really like it. And I bought four of them. So there's one for me and then one for my other three friends that were in this group text that we always talk in. Um, so this is really special. Let me see if I can open it. So it's just this, I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Weston, you might have to zoom in. It's just like a piece of red thread. It's like very thin and it has a gold little heart bead on it and it has a little chain closure. And I just thought this was so special that you could just wear with everything, you know, with any of your little cuffs or a watch or anything. And it would just be a really good reminder to like live in the moment and like slow down. For me at least that's what I'm hoping this is gonna remind me of because I get so caught up in just like cleaning my house and telling my kids, hold on, hold on, I'll play with you in a minute. I'll play with you as soon as I'm done washing dishes. I'll play with you as soon as I'm done with dinner. And I really need a, needed a reminder and I feel like wearing this on my wrist is just really gonna remind me of my friend and her family and um, just help me to slow down a little bit and enjoy, enjoy the little things, even if it's just pushing my kids on the swings or helping them go down the slide. And so I hope this, um, helps my friend as well so anyways I got four of these and that was like totally off the topic of like this other frivolous buy but um it was from Urban Outfitters as well so if you want one you should go find these if you need a, a nice little reminder as well and I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about if not um 
I probably I'll link their um, GoFundMe page down below. So, anyways, there's that, and I love this so much. Um, anyways, off that topic, and this is kind of funny. The last thing, the last thing that I got was also like the randomest thing. And when Weston saw when I like was telling him I got these socks and I got this and this, this, he was like, "Cool, cool, that's great." And then I said, and guess what this is? And he was like, did you really buy a magic eight ball? Does anyone remember that? If you're a 90s kid, you remember that. So anyways, I saw this on um, Urban Outfitters, and I'm sure it's still available. You can go buy it, or probably they have it on like Amazon or anything. Um, I had to get it, and I just thought this would be such a fun conversation piece to have in my living room, and I'm sure my kids are going to have a blast playing with it as well. But um, this is called the Magic Emoji Ball. And I haven't played with it yet. And it was like, I don't know, it was on sale. It was like super cheap and I was like, why not? I mean, this is so fun. So basically you ask it a question, if you can see all the little emojis. And here's more. It will uh, give you an answer. So let's open it. This would also be a really funny guy gift or like white elephant gift. So, anyways, okay, so this is what it looks like. Just like this, it's the same size, you can see, as like a magic eight ball. Um, but it has the emoji face, like the shocked one, which is funny. I always use this face. Um, so, what should we ask it? Well, Weston, let me buy a new pair of boots. Oh, it gave me the, oh my gosh, you're going to be able to see this. It gave me the smiley face that looks like this. Do you know which one that is? That was so dumb. Does anyone know what that one is? The, the, the face, what does that really mean? I, do, I use this one sometimes. I don't really know what it means. Maybe it shows it on here. Oh, it says it'll happen. You hear that, Weston? It'll happen. So, anyways. Let's just get something else to do out of the face. Um, am I going to have a good 28th year of life? Ooh, gave me a big smiley face. Oh wait, you can't see it. Oh gosh. Okay, that's pretty much impossible. It's just the regular smiley face, which is totes so that means yes perfect okay well that's all I have if you guys like these haul videos I don't know if people are really interested to see like things that I buy but I can I like watching other people's videos so I thought that this would just be fun um then let me know down below or let me know what other videos you want to see I know some people said like they want to see like our grocery haul since we have so many people in our family um, I think that'd be fun, but I want to make sure you guys like it because it's going to be a lot of work to like film all my stuff and, you know, take time to sit down and do that. So let me know if you want to see it, um, any other videos. Um, otherwise, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!